So here we are. I am sitting in the 8235R with the Earthmaster 3000 vertical tillage tool on the back. We have this Green Star 3 display from WS Ag, still in the cab of the 82. Travis was doing some custom work, and this monitor is WS Ag's. It has the auto steer activation on it. So this allows us to use the auto steer button on the 8235R. So I've got everything already set up. I've got our farm information in here. We're set on like adaptive curves so that we can basically just drive with the contours. I misspelled Rockville. But to set this up, we would go into Green Star and we would choose Equipment, Implement. We would set our implement information in here. Looks pretty good. I have the track spacing set for 24 feet and 0.25 inches. That way there's a little bit of overlap just enough to where there isn't a space where we haven't hit. So um, yeah, I think we pretty well are, are pretty well ready to go. If one of these monitors just shows up, just happens to show up in your cab, um, to get going and to make the tractor record your coverage, I have it set up to record with number one. And you can find that in the equipment tab um, on one of the main menus on, in the, under the Green Star menu. So I have it set for SCV-1, so when I set the implement down, it will automatically start recording. Now we're all ready, set up to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my first pass. This first pass is pretty important. It is going to be the one that sets my line, and I'll be able to follow it after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first pass. I'm gonna go ahead and set the vertical tillage tool down while pressing the SCV-1 down to detent. It's gonna set down. Now the flashing light indicates that the Green Star 3 monitor is recording. Now as I drive forward, there will be blue coverage. I'm gonna go around the whole strip and then I'm gonna activate the auto steer on the other side and come back. So here we are uh, at the other end. It says that I am 15 inches too far to the left. So I went ahead and turned around and this is where I ended up. Now I'm gonna go ahead, drop the VT back down and then I am going to pull ahead and the tractor will start re-recording just like again, or like just like it did for the last time. Um, on the last pass, it recorded a line. Now when I drop it this time, it's going to draw another line and I'll use that for, for my next pass. Ugh. Words a little difficult. I'm trying to talk as quickly as I can because my camera battery is on 11%. Plus there's a beautiful little storm coming up on the horizon over there. So um, to get this all working, all you really have to do is put it in drive, drop it down, start going forward. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press that auto steer button and the tractor will take over. But the thing you gotta do, at least on this monitor before you get started with auto steer, is make sure that your steering's on. So now that it's enabled, all I gotta do is hit the auto steer button, the tractor automatically starts correcting. So the RTK should, be, means, should mean that it should keep it within one inch or so. It's doing a pretty good job there as you can see. We got the auto steer icon on the corner, dose, corner post display saying that it is in auto steer. Now, when it, if you ever need to take over, all you gotta do is move the steering wheel and it'll quit. Um, now you're basically free to watch the vertical tillage tool more. And as a matter of fact, uh, I was having trouble earlier and uh, noticed something and I, I might do a video on it, we'll see. But something happened and I was using the auto steer and I actually was looking back when it happened so I knew that something went wrong. So you don't actually absolutely have to have auto steer. You know, there's a lot of controversy on whether, you know, people really need it or not. Um, I see where it comes into play where it could really be handy. Personally, I can really see and tell how much it saves me as far as overlap. 
And that means that, you know, I'm saving time and money because I'm not burning as much fuel with all that overlap. It keeps it pretty consistent. So what I like to do, I just lifted it up over a waterway. I'm gonna drop it back down. Here, we're still driving. All I gotta do is basically do that all the way back and forth down the strip until we're done. I mean, with this, I will admit, I mean, I don't drive the straightest. Can you tell why? But um, with this, I, I really think that it does leave the fields more beautiful, you could say, because you can tell when I do it by hand that, you know, I, I don't drive straight. <laughs> but, I mean, it's by your hand. I mean, it's just by your skill. I mean, I know that if you kind of watch something off in the distance, like a, cor like a post over there, You'll have better luck as far as driving like driving straight lines but we have quite a few fields where there's nothing on the horizon uh, especially with all these hills and you can't really kind of get a straight line going so i just wanted to show you guys the workings and the ins and outs of the green star 3 display um, you don't absolutely need it but to be perfectly honest it is pretty nice and um, i would recommend gps honestly for like planting just because we've seen the savings that it provides us in just in seed and stuff with the automatic row shutoffs um, we are looking at you know electric electric drive someday which allow us to control the population inside the tractor cab so you can adjust population where you're at based on well you can base it off of you know what the soil tests are saying and um, you can adjust your population accordingly because if you don't have as high a fertile soil soil you don't want to put be putting quite as many plants down on the other hand, if you're on a farm like this, where we, you do have a lot of good luck as far as yield go, and the soil is very fertile, fertile, um, you do want to have a higher population. You can adjust that all from the cab with the electric drives. So technology has its place. Um, it can be finicky, honestly, at times. Uh, I know that in the planner, we do have moments where it goes in and out, but all you really do have to do is have to pay attention and you're basically golden. So go ahead and speed up. I didn't mean to shift it into 11, but 82 can take it. Rolling dust. So this monitor is going to be going back to WS in just a few days. They didn't need it, so they just left it in the cab for now. And well, Ryan's going to use it if he's got it. <laughs> the first day I was running the 82, I didn't even pay attention to it. I was just more focused on running rather than getting it all set up and it really doesn't take long as long as you know what you're doing but this was honestly my first time working with an actual uh, large gs3 display i'm not familiar with model numbers and everything So real quick, here is a strip that I did not use auto steer on. You can see there's a lot of thicker blue, darker blue lines. That is overlap. Now I'll do auto steer on the next strip and I'll show you a comparison of what the strip will look like after I'm done. Don't mind the thick strip, this thick blue strip in the center because there's going to be overlap. Um, I started on the outside edges and worked in. That's why there is the thicker blue lines in the center, but you can see all the, the other ones on the outside as well. So I use the auto steer on this strip. You can definitely tell that the blue lines separating my coverage are definitely smaller, um, more continuous. There aren't like large areas where I had quite a bit of overlap. It's all pretty steady. Green star, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. I know, I know, I should have been a singer. I have no idea where I am.
that's it. The rocket's pretty well checked out. We're calling her a night, packing up the VT, heading back to the Billings. So, uh, yeah, it's now 11.38, and Travis is still going. He's probably going to keep going until he's done or he gets rained out. They were calling for rain at 11. Nothing ever came of it, so hopefully he can at least get this farm done. So I got to go home, and I got to work on a video yet. Yeah, it's going to be a few hours. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think I got, like, about 90 acres done today, which is actually pretty good, considering that I took a pretty solid break in the middle of the day um, to do some other stuff. So, anyway, with that, I'll let you all go. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And... I'll see you next time.